Minnesota State Fair, day nine. Don't forget to come down and see us. Uh, there's some weekend shows down here as well from Fox 9. We're where are we located? We're right next down to we're right next to the giant slide. We're also going to be doing a show live on Labor Day at 10 a.m. Come down and see us. As I always say, you don't need a ticket to the Jason Show. You do need a ticket to the Minnesota State Fair. When I think of Minnesota, I think of artists. When I think of artists, I think of our next guest. He is all over the place here. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Adam Terman, everybody. Hey everybody. What's up, Adam? Hi. Yay. Thanks for having me. Now if you're watching and you're going, his name sounds familiar, all Scotty has to do is point down to your R and you'll immediately recognize Adam's work. How long have you been doing this, Adam? Oh, my gosh. Uh, my mom says one and a half. I say about four when I could actually, like, render something. Yeah. But, um, you know, I've been basically working, uh, doing my own thing since uh, maybe, like, 2003. Now, I'm not an RT, so i got to ask you, wh what is this called? You know, like, people go, I, I do abstracts. I do this. What do you call your style? Well, these are screen-printed pieces of art. But yeah. um, I'm also an illustrator, commercial illustrator. I'm a muralist. Uh, I I can paint, yeah. um, uh, draw, all that kind of stuff. So whatever you want to make, let's make it. Yeah. Well, and he's making a lot and doing it really well because audience, give it up. He just won the 2019 Best of Award yeah, from Minnesota State Fair. Congratulations yeah. on that. You guys, there were there were 1,200 uh, vendors, concessions, all this stuff, attractions. Um, they picked 12, so I'm one of 12. That's so that crazy. was it, it. It feels really good. It's a total honor to be a part of it. So exciting. So thank you, Minnesota State Fair, and everybody. Well, and I and I am not joking. I'm not joking. In an intro, this year more than ever, you are all over the place. Uh, yeah. Control room, roll some of the pictures. Talk, talk about this year's new projects. Right. So um, the at the north end, there are four sculptures over there. They were done by a really amazing. Um, uh, company uh, called Tivoli 2. They've done a lot of the Peanuts characters, if you guys are familiar with those. Um, and so I painted, um, basically, I did uh, Fairchild, so yeah. the mascot. I did uh, Paul and Babe, and we also did Hot Dish Girl, which is a slight little subtle nod to Marjorie Johnson, who just turned 100 this year, so way to go, Marjorie. I love it. And here's the, there, there's the forklift moving Babe in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're That's huge. They weigh, they weigh uh, like, I think Babe is, like, maybe 700 pounds. I mean, the thing, you know, th these things are getting... They're getting touched and hugged, and uh, you, know, you know, people are all over them. Well, so. I was gonna say, we are living in a. Is that oh, They've right gotta there? Got to be tough. Those. Uh, yeah. That, yep. Yep. Based yep, a little bit on Marjorie there. Yeah. Look at Paul. That's Paul. So um, they had me working on those in a garage off a of Como, and I finished them Tuesday before the state fair started on Thursday. Seriously? So we had talked about this for a year. So we talked about this at the very end of the state fair, 2018, and here we are. Minutes before the fair starts this year, Painting. finally got it done. Yeah, That's, yeah, yeah. We're showing video too. You're also in the grandstand. Where can what can people so find in the grandstand? We're on the second level of the grandstand. We're the top of the big ramp. We're the very first booth you see. We've got a gigantic tournament sign that's all lit up. Uh, a few of the things that we have there are, of course, the screen prints, the art. We are in the blue ribbon bargain book down here. We're on page 116. We've got <laughs> socks. I'll get my shadow out of the way, and then. Um, and then we've also got uh, uh, the, the, the Abbey Road shirt um, that has our favorite characters, and they're eating all the fun foods. Adam, I love that shirt so much. That is fantastic. It's been a pretty big hit. We also have a mural on the outside of our booth with that. You can take your picture in front of that, too. Now, Scotty, let's get a shot of this Iron Maiden. Uh, explain what this is all about. So the Excel Energy Center, um, they're, we're good friends, and uh, they do thank you gifts for the bands that come into town, some of the bigger acts. So Monday... My favorite band in the whole world came to town, and that's Iron Maiden. Yeah. So, whoo, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there you go. Right on. Right, on. right there. So, um, so Maiden came into town, and then this is a thank you gift for the band. So uh, there you go. That was amazing and fun to do. Oh, here's, and this is, uh, this is the Abbey Road on a print, right, right here? Right. That's yep, print. that's our print for Abbey Road. We've got a whole collection of it, and as you saw the shirt earlier, and we have also a baseball theme one, too. And you, you really are more than just the State Fair. You get to work on some fun projects. I, I think it was at Rosedale. Well, you have a gallery in your house or something. I do, literally. Here, right? I really, I know, I'm like, I, my whole house is your your prints. The first one I ever bought, We actually. should just come over and just hang out and just, I, We you know, should, actually. Yeah. That's right. Just or, hang out at the house. We should go to an Iron Maiden concert. Let's That's do right, that. yeah. Because when you Even think better. Iron Maiden, you think Jason. <laughs> That's, That's right. right, yeah. But no, one of the first prints I the, one of the first prints I ever bought from you was uh, there was a blue kind of state fair oh, motif yeah. that you did. Yeah, That's that was that was two thousand I think nine. I did that. Yeah, and that's a horizontal version. We've got that at the booth as well. What's one of the most unusual projects you've been asked to do, or fun, or what? What challenging? My favorite projects. Let's let's just talk about that. Like one of the ones that's got me the most work is the mural that I did a butcher and the boar. 
Yes, so if you guys are on the familiar, side. Yeah, Hennepin and 12th, downtown Minneapolis. So that piece was really fun. I had a day job while I was working on that because, you know, Artists are starving, yeah. right? So we all need, you know, we all need some financial help once in a while. So anyway, I was working at my day job, but I would go there after work from like five until ten or eleven at night, and we would be working, uh, you know, in the pitch black on on murals uh, downtown Minneapolis, and that was before it opened. So it was a little sketch down there. Yeah. The oh yeah, so, it was. You know, yeah. We got one guy who asked me, he's like, he, w would you be willing to help out, or you know, could I help you paint? And you know, because I need to buy diapers for my kid, and I was like. Well, my, the first reaction wasn't no. It was like, I wonder if you could paint. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We didn't do it. No, no. Yeah, I, don't, no yeah. I, don't, I don't hire people off the street like that. Yeah. Well, he ain't starving anymore. Give it up for Adam <laughs> Terman and everybody. Yeah, thank you. Where can thank we... you, guys. Thank you. Adam, where's all your social media handles? Tell folks how to oh, find oh, you. Um, uh, it's my name, adamterman.com. We're on Instagram. We love Instagram, at Adam Terman. You Basically, just account. go to Google and just... Just type in Adam Terman, you'll find us. Or come to my house and you can see all of his work. That's Let's right. Let's all go yeah, hang out at Jason's. That's, that's yeah. right. <laughs>